What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today's video is on sorting. So sorting can be kind of a pain in Tableau. Um, what happens is a user will say, hey, I want a big text table. You build a text table, and then it doesn't sort like Excel. And that's because Tableau uses nested sorting. So I thought today we'd cover nested sorting. And then let's also look at a clever solution to let you sort by any dimension, any measure, and make those users happy. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about Tableau's default sorting. So what happens here is a user a lot of times will come and they'll say, hey, I want to sort by sales. So they sort by sales and they say, hey, it, didn't, it doesn't look right. This isn't how I expected it to sort. And that's because Tableau uses nested sorting. And you can see in the tooltip it says nested sort on product name. So when we're sorting, it's looking at these values and it's sorting by product name. It's looking at these values, sorting by product name. So it's nested within this value. So that can be a little bit confusing. Sometimes it bugs users and they want it to sort like Excel. So how can we do that? Well, I created this workbook here. And what I did here was I created two parameters. So right now it's sort by category, it's ascending. Let's go ahead and sort by subcategory. So I could just click subcategory and it switches. Boom, sorting ascending. I can sort this descending. And then we can, we can get real exciting. We can go to sales or profit. <laughs> Let's go to sales. We'll go to sales. And now you can see it's in a descending order and we can click ascending. Now it's in the ascending order. Woohoo! we've done it for our user. All right, how do we build this? There's a few calculations, so we'll stick with me. I created them so it'd be a little bit quicker. But the first thing we're gonna do is create two parameters. So if you hit this down carrot, you can say create parameter. And the first parameter is sort by. So let's create the sort by parameter. It's gonna be a string and we'll give it values. And these values are the names of our dimensions and our measures. So whatever you want the user to sort by, go ahead and list them here. Once you get that created, we can hit OK. Next calculation is sort order. So sort order, um, I'm using the value ASC and DESC. But for the user, I'm going to display it as ascending and descending. So go ahead and get the sort order um, parameter created and then hit OK. Next calculation is sort by dimension. So let's look at that. So all this is doing is looking at our sort by parameter and it's saying when the user wants to sort by category, then category, subcategory, subcategory, manufacturer, manufacturer, product name, product name. So just a simple case statement to sort by dimensions. So now what we want to do is create another calculation, but it's going to be sort by measures. So let's look at that. We can go sort by measures. And this is the same thing. We're saying K sort by, and then if the user sorts by sales. We're going to do the sum of sales, profit, sum of profit, profit ratio, then profit ratio. Once you get that created, this is where the magic happens. And first we'll look at dimensions. So let's right click on dimensions. We'll hit edit. And this is just saying if the sort order, the parameter the user selects is ascending, we're gonna use this function Tableau has that's called rank unique. And we're gonna rank unique the sort by dimension calculation we just created in an ascending order. Else we're gonna rank unique the sort by dimension in a descending order. So we get that created, hit OK. The next thing we're gonna do is go to dynamic sorting and this will be for our measure. So we're gonna say if sort order equals ascending, then we're using that rank unique, but we're going to sort by the, the measures. So this calculation right here. Next, we're almost done. We're just gonna drag dynamic sorting to our rows and we're going to drag dynamic sorting with the M for our measures onto rows. And let me unhide these so you can see them. So we'll say show header, show header. And right now we're looking at cells. So you can see that we're looking at the dynamic sorting measures because cells is a measure and it's sorting in an ascending order. 
And then let's go, let's flip from cells, let's look at a dimension. So now if we go to a dimension, you can see that the measures went null and now we're sorting by dimensions and we have the ascending order, we can flip it to descending order and we can go to profit, we can have that in a descending order, change that to an ascending order. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on sorting. If you're finding these videos helpful, please subscribe, give this video a like, and let me know in the comments what else you wanna see, and I'll keep creating these videos. All right guys, happy vision.